This video lesson aims to help you and guide you in answering your module about one act play. Make sure to have your paper and pen with you and also the self-learning module. So let's get started. A one act play is a play that has only one act, as distinct from plays that occur over several acts. From the term itself, one act play is confined in one act only. But even if it is confined in one act only, the scenes may still be multiple and in variations. Another feature of one act play is the write-up of the play is concise and precise. It is because one act play has limited time and set options. It should be set over a period of no more than one day. This is also to make and keep the audience engaged. The aim of the play is intended towards producing one effect. Like all fiction, the primary purpose of drama is to entertain, evoke feelings, and teach the audience a lesson about life. In terms of characters, a one-up play usually will have only four or fewer characters that are developed in varying degrees. There may be one or more main characters, and they are developed primarily through dialogues. Like any other fiction, one act play has also its beginning, the middle, and the end. At this point, let's talk about the elements of one act. It has a setting, a plot, a structure, characters, conflict, and the theme. I know that you are already familiar with these terms because you already encountered this in your previous grade levels. Let's find out if you can identify each element. This element refers to the place together with other conditions such as time and the environment. It is where the events occur. The setting can be presented through the visual element deals with the scenes, costumes, and special effects. The settings can as well be enhanced by using viewable elements, sound effects, and music. The next element refers to the people or sometimes animals subjected in the drama and are portrayed by the actors and actresses in the play. They are the one of the main components that move the action of the play forward. Characters can be categorized into three types according to the roles they play. We have the main character, it is also known as the protagonist, siya yung pinakabida. We also have the antagonist, it is the character who opposes the protagonist, eto yung kontrabida. The other characters that are neither the protagonist nor the antagonist are called the secondary characters. They, have, they may have a major part of a minor involvement in the drama. Let's proceed to the other element. It refers to the sequence or series of events. In terms of literary genre, plot refers to the sequence or series of events. It is the structure of a play that tells what happens as the story goes. Let's take a look at the plot diagram. It shows how the main events in the play are organized into a plot. The plot diagram can be divided into different stages. First, we have the introduction or the exposition. It explains the situation with which the story begins. It introduces the characters and describes the setting. The exposition is simply an introductory part that provides the background information needed to understand the story properly. Next is the rising action. In this part, the events in the story become complicated and the conflict is revealed. So dito sa may rising action, dito pinapakita kung ano nga ba yung conflict or yung problem na kakaharapin ng ating major character or ng ating protagonist. It is the incident that creates a dramatic climax. Ano nga ba ang tinatawag nating climax? Climax is the turning point or the peak of a plot that holds the place at most emotional intensity. We also have the climax. It is the highest point of interest. 
usually a question is raised. Dito na tayo napapaisip kung magtatagumpay nga ba yung ating protagonist or hindi. It is often the most exciting part of a story. We also have the following action. It is a series of events following the climax that leads to the conflict's solution. So dito na pinapakita kung ano nga ba yung posibleng solusyon ng problemang kinaharap ng ating characters. And lastly, we have the resolution. It is the ending of the story or it is when you learn what happens to the characters after the conflict is resolved. Each element is important as it contributes to the successful conduct of one act play. By applying what you have learned in the elements of one act play, let's do the reading task in your self-learning module. Have you ever been tempted to pretend that you were someone else? Naranasan mo na bang magpanggap? Do you think people will respect you more if they think you are rich? Sa tingin mo ba, mas re-respetuhin ka ng mga tao kapag ikaw ay mayaman? Can you judge people by their appearance? Masasabi mo ba kung ano ang pagkatao or kung sino yung isang tao sa pamamagitan ng kanilang panlabas na anyo? In this short one-up play, adapted from the classic short story by O. Henry, a young man and woman meet in a public park and instantly fall for one another but neither of them tells the truth out of his or her own identity so this story is all about a poor girl who pretends to be rich while reading in the park and met a man who is in love with her this man lies about himself supposing to be poor they both lie to each other, but none of them expose the lie. Before reading the text or the story in your module, take note of these questions that you need to answer. What do you think were the intentions of the characters for not revealing their true status in life? Ano ba sa tingin mo yung intention ng mga characters dun sa story kung bakit hindi nila ipinakita kung ano talaga yung kanilang estado sa buhay. Bakit kailangan nilang itago or bakit kailangan nilang magpanggap na mahirap at mayaman? Would you consider what the characters did a white lie? Why or why not? What do you think is the implication of the story to human lives? If you were to end the play, how would you do it? In your answer sheet, complete the story graphics below by writing details about the play while the auto waits. So dito, ilalagay nyo lang kung sino ba yung mga characters, setting, kung kailan at kung saan nangyari, yung plot, episodes, and conflict. Ano ba yung mga main problems or ano ba yung mga problems na nakita doon sa may story or sa play. And the last activity is the character analysis. You just need to fill out the character analysis sketch. So in the play, we have four characters but you will just characterize the two, the girl and the young man. Ilalagay nyo lang kung ano ba yung traits na nakita nyo sa kanila based sa kanilang actions or dialogues. And then, evidence, paano nyo nasabi na yun yung kanyang katangian or trait. And part of the play kung saan nyo nakita yung ganong katangian nila.